Nice. Nose is fucking opening up, man. I love fish and I love Kerala and I love the Kerala fish curry. So we're going to be making a fantastic main avivi chattu, which means actually a red fish curry, which comes from Kottiyam. Let's start cooking. Now, on a recent trip to Kerala, okay, I went to a toddy shop in the backwaters, ate this amazing fish. So normally in that area, people eat a lot of fish from sweet waters. Okay, meet here, Paniki. Now, I'm living here in Mumbai. I couldn't find that fish. I love my kingfish. So feel free to use any kind of fish which you like, okay? And this is basically a recipe from the Syrian Catholics from Kerala, from Kotiam, and it is basically a red fish curry. Okay, so we're gonna be using coconut oil in this recipe. And guess what? Now, if you've noticed, I'm using this really amazing chette, okay? Which means this is a really nice, beautiful brass pot which is used in Kerala, and literally, we went deep down into a store, walking over things and, and getting this. You might see that as well. Okay, now let's start with the tempering. Now for the tempering, I have some mustard seeds here. So we have some mustard seeds. We have a little bit of methi dana, okay? Some, some methi seeds in this. Usko achhi taram fry karenge. Beautiful. So once these are in here, I have some nice shallots here. Chotu onions which I actually want to add whole, okay? I love the whole feeling of these shallots coming in, you know, nicely soft, they're very sweet. And then next we have a couple of dried red chilies, okay? What is this slight modification, chef ko, chef ki to hoi gi na? So we're gonna fry this beautifully, wow. Now the fish here is fresh. Literally, when they are cooking in Kerala, they told me the same thing. When the fish is fresh, there's no need to put anything inside. Trust me, okay? So I've got this beautiful, lovely sear fish or kingfish, which I'm using here. I also have some ginger and garlic finely chopped here as well, okay? And we're gonna be sorting this really well. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna be adding our curry leaves. Uh, dhir sare curry leaves in here, beautiful. Now, there is a, a special kokum, which comes from Kerala. Uh, you can use tamarind if you can't find it, but I have some lovely kokum, which gives this a beautiful, lovely sour taste, very smoky taste. And literally, this is actually from the mangosteen family as well, okay? so. We got this nice, a beautiful tempering going on. And now, the idea here is that we are going to be making a little sauce or paste, which is, so I'm, I've got about half a teaspoon of turmeric here. And the rest I've got almost two tablespoons, yeah? Of two to three tablespoons of red chili powder, okay? Now it all depends upon how intense you want to make it, okay? So, what we will do I'm going to add a little bit of water into this. Okay. Now, we've got our water here. And I'm going to be mixing this together. Beautiful. So, this mix is mixed. And the next, I'm going to be adding it right here. Beautiful. That's how simple, beautiful Kerala cooking is. I love the simplicity. I love that minimal spices which going in. At the end of the day, I believe it's all about the produce. Okay. Cook this a little bit. Let the spices cook. Abhi hum isko dhimi aanch pe pakayenge. Let it come to a simmer. We're gonna put our fish inside, and then we're gonna add our kokum. Simmer it slowly for five to ten minutes till the fish is beautifully cooked. Okay, lovely. So I've got some lovely kokum here which I'm adding in here. So it's gonna give a really nice sour. So the profile is sour and spicy. So we've got all this in here. Next, we're gonna be adding our fish pieces. And 
and very slowly i'm going to add a few more curry leaves and cover it oh yeah beautiful nice and lovely light curry this is what i just love about kerala that it's all about the flavor and they're cooking in coconut oil which is a very healthy uh oil to eat um loaded with unsaturated fatty acids beautiful so we have some of our lovely curry our shallots i love to leave my shallots or madras onions as we call them i like to leave them whole i like this a nice little brothy kind of curry because you know normally a lot of our fish curries are very thick now this is just beautiful it's got the right kind of consistency it goes really well with this lovely steamed rice here and in kerala they actually eat it with boiled kappa which is actually tapioca root or cassava uh, which is very popular i was happy to even inaugurate a cassava festival in a college there and believe me it was a whole learning experience so all i can tell you is guys is don't stop learning eat good food eat healthy be a little experimental so hamari kerala style red curry ready subscribe like share love okay